So, hello everyone. Before we kick start with the review, uh, first thing I would like to tell is many candidates have been uh, um, they've been stuck with this paper, and uh, I agree it's not an easy paper. But two positives that candidates who are giving all the models should keep in mind is tomorrow's paper that is MCS will be comparatively easy because this paper that is CRVA. It's not a very tricky paper, but it's absolutely uh, a testing paper. So, the, the main issue is when there are back-to-back -back different module exams. For example, if you have done your funding right, you should not let the other module paper affect your next module, like back-to-back. -back. So, for those things, a lot of uh, maturity and thought process is required. So, that is what I want you to, all to follow. So if you had, uh, even today morning I actually released a video like for example I was briefing this question was fairly straightforward the type of due diligence and uh, so in the morning video I was referring to focus on the exemptions that come combination aspects regularly hours second 29 all those things so these are both um, connected topics and uh, first question was on uh, the relevant case law aspects so few out of the box questions were also there and uh, in this case what are the conditions under which the aquarium is exempt open offered so usual standard question and uh, competition this is based on sub ratio and merges uh, not a straight question but with application you'll be able to do it so this again is uh, my question uh, this all Good time for example MPS and space value and all perform easily. So this kind of question comes so you should focus on getting 3 out of 5 rather than 5 out of 5. So the time management becomes a very important thing. So discuss production by SQL account you would have written the 25%, 90% and all those aspects and the spin-off also. So next one part two. Part two many would have planned to score and uh, it was a lot of case aspects was asked from IBC in this question. PQ Private Limited, CARP, uh, published uh, advertisements for expression of interest. If you follow the pattern past recent attempts, the expression of interest have been asked regularly revolving around that because one of the key concepts. So, next one is uh, funding of deposit research on the foreign inflow. It's a very important topic. So, next one provision relating to imposition of penalty for non submission of information or combination. Fairly straightforward provision, but it's very difficult to. Many candidates wouldn't have focused on those angles. So, again, a uh, compliance aspect on. Uh, Decrease from solvency, etc. For first time matches, uh, compromise and arrangement. So, what are the various orders that can be issued by DRT? I have always some question on DRT and whether NCLT or NCLAT has a right to interfere with the of committee of creditors. Discuss in view of some decided case law. So, then lastly, the resolution plan is a, not a sale or option, but a resolution of the corporate debt as a going concern. Another case law. So, if you see this paper was more of a and lastly another IPA is, uh, plays a crucial role in regulating educating an elusive function of IPA this is again a fairly straightforward question and also objective of surface and IPC are altogether different and cannot be interchangeable fairly quite a few case laws and all those things you have some questions like this are not really good but even if you write on your own with the relevant points you will surely get marks so this is not an exemption paper but a short 45 to 55 range paper so keep these things in mind and uh, invest time on uh, MCS and drafting properly and uh, morning tomorrow morning just 45 minutes those are giving uh, more just two on drafting also so best is a fantastic time and uh, hope you found the discussion useful and uh, just think about the remaining papers and also don't keep evaluating and doing things. Nothing is going to change now. You will surely clear. So focus on that. Be positive. Best wishes and have a fantastic time.